Night Owl here, and I'm here to recap the top 10 plays or moments from European Union's Week 3 Finals at CCGS. Holy crap, that's a mouthful. Let's get into it. Play number 10 between Soaking and Islaw. An epic battle throughout, of course. A ton of back and forth action, kind of like the stuff that you would see between a boyfriend and a girlfriend in high school. No, I love you. No, I don't love you. Either way, Islaw was ready to get after it. He was finally ready to push this and get in there with his miner and his guards. Unfortunately, So King had another plan coming for him with a balloon on the left side, was able to get that balloon all the way to the tower, deliver the package, and with that final fireball, took the entire match. That is Toupee Army in the house. What can I say about play number nine? Donkey Kong, stellar, very solid player. Ready to come in here against Lupanji, was able to build up a huge enough push to put a golem clear back in the back and put another golem up in the middle so we have two golems on the map unsupported by any other troops but that doesn't matter when you got two golems pushing your way down the lane both those golems are going to hit your tower and take it down the whole arena was shaking not even kidding you both those golems with the death damage with the golemites took the tower and Donkey Kong was able to take the match. Crazy enough, Lupondi tried to come back almost for that three crown at the very last second, but just didn't have enough time to pull it off. Match over, game Donkey Kong. Moment number eight between Adam and Surgical Goblin. Now Adam has all the correct counters, but check this play out. Unfortunately, misses the lightning on the pump. Throws out the cry face because he knows what happened. When you waste that much elixir against Surgical Goblin, you know, sure as heck, you're going to get punished. Throughout the rest of the match, it was back and forth and actually pretty tight with a few good plays, just like this one with the tornado pulling the minion horde all the way to the center and with an ice spirit taking them out. I have never seen better tornadoes in all my life. Absolutely clutch. But unfortunately, with that missed lightning by Adam, Surgical Goblin was able to just take that tower down, and that one mistake did cost him the game. <laughs> you know, in chat, and I think I noticed a new card in that last match. A Marino 14 pointed it out for me in chat. Did you see the bike goblin in that last one? The Bike goblin? Yeah, there was a goblin riding a bike through a, uh, a little like, it, you know, a little park there. Yeah. Oh, oh was it? Oh yeah, he had, he had a red shirt on. He, he said he likes to make uh, YouTube videos. I think I did see that. Yeah. I mean, it's gonna be interesting. Maybe a little sneak peek there. Maybe Clash of was doing a little sneak peek yeah, action at the new card. Very fast. How fast can they go on a bike though? Just go straight for the tower. Play number six between So King and Nem Sensei is a tragic one. Our hearts go out for Nem Sensei. Unfortunately for him, he did so great at the spring CCGS, but the fall CCGS has just not gone his way. Check out this tornado play right here. Misses the hog completely. And with those extra hog swings on the tower, you know it's GG right there, if not by the hit points on the tower alone, but your mindset. Come on, Nensei, say, you got this, my boy. You can do this. Let's just pull it together, wrangle your spirits in, and you'll get this thing taken care of lickety split. Play number five brought to you by our good friend Baron and Donkey Kong. Baron, hailing from Germania, Germania, Germany. Germania. I don't know how you say it. Germany, I guess. Donkey Kong and Baron, both stellar players. Fortunately for Donkey Kong, he's able to drop that Mega Knight right here at the bridge. He throws his Miner in there with some bats. With all that support, this play maybe should have been higher on the list, but that Miner is tanking like crazy. The Mega Knight's tanking. Everybody's tanking, and nobody focuses on those bats. The bats are able to get in there and take that tower down. Good game, Donkey Kong. Take it down, buddy. <laughs> Play number four also brought to you by Donkey Kong and Baron. Baron on the other side this time pushing his way towards Donkey Kong with a Mega Knight, with a Bandit, the 
Mike was able to soak up the blow from another Mega Knight, takes out everything that Donkey Kong has to throw at him, that huge swarm rushes the tower, takes it over, that's good game, Baron this time. Boom. Play number three here by Lupanji should probably be play number one, throws down the flying machine right in the gauntlet, able to take everything out, is it OP? Undefeated all night, need I say more? Play number two between our good friend Lupanji and Tin here is probably one of my favorite sets of the night, one of my favorite matches of the night altogether. Right here Lupanji tanking with the Mega Knight, able to get the balloon into the tower. Mega Knight gets a hit off, but the balloon also is able to deliver the payload, dealing some death damage along the way. Knocks that tower down to minimal health, and Lupanji is able to take that thing all the way down. And to add insult to injury, drops another balloon later in the match, taking tower number two with that incredible balloon damage as we know it is so incredible it does so much damage it just takes you out do not let a balloon get to the tower now this is crazy because match number two tin decides to take the balloon into his own hands throws it down when lupanji has no more elixir because he just dropped a golem in the back is able to deal every single shot that it needs to on tower number one able with the death damage to take that tower all the way down <laughs> to zero and smoke that thing now they do trade towers right here because he does have a golem and a baby d on the tower but later on in the match another balloon coming your way towards tower number two with the mega knight tanking from the king tower and he is able to get that balloon to the tower as well smoking that tower and it looks like we have ourselves a three crown on the way Holy crap, balloon battles like crazy coming your way. But don't, don't, don't count your chickens before they're hatched because match number three, Lupanji brings the balloon again. This is crazy. He throws the balloon down, lane number one, headed towards the tower, able to get there because of the missed tornado. That's two missed tornadoes in this top ten list. Holy cow, delivers a huge deathly bowl blow. To that tower now Lupanji later on the match is able to throw a rocket and arrows to finish the thing out takes the entire set up on tin play number one absolutely the most epic play of the night brought to you by tin and Adam tin has just thrown a fireball to get things down on Adam's tower to where they're within fireball range so at this point we thought the match was completely over but no, no, don't count little Adam out. He still has this. He throws a minor and he throws poison. As the fireball hits, it ties it up. That is a draw in overtime. Do you guys understand what that means? A draw in overtime. That means every tick of the poison matched second for second. Right when that fireball landed on that tower, it was absolutely insane. So they were able to go on in some more sudden death. Next tower wins it. That's what we thought with the first towers, actually. But right here at the end, Tin is able to get some troops together. Right here, he drops his hog rider on the side. Adam has an inferno tower able to block the hog rider. But unfortunately, with the ice golem and the minions coming in, the minions do take the tower out. And Tin clutches the win which is great thank you so much thank you guys so much for dropping by for this top 10 plays or moments from ccgs week 3 european union finals holy cow that is a mouthful i'm gonna leave you with the leaderboard right here because you guys need to see what's going on if you guys like what you saw be sure and subscribe to the channel hopefully i can bring you more top 10 lists just like this one where we recap all the plays that we have seen throughout the week or in this case just one week of the ccgs finals absolutely stellar showing by all of the people involved they did a great job we are so proud of them we cheer for them we're excited about them we're excited for what they do for us that are excited we're just excited, okay? We're excited for what they do for the sport. Thank you guys for dropping by the channel today. Take it easy and good luck. Hey, Enchant, how'd you do on your third grade math test last week? You know what, Woody? Yeah? That is a great question. Thank you. 101%. Whoa, I didn't even know that was mathematically possible. Third grade math, baby.